Amal Wardak says Canada gives him hope that his kids will have a safe and happy future. An entrepreneur in Kabul, Wardak has dreams of one day opening a business here too. I hope that we could be a positive part of this society. And I'm happy for my children uh, that they will be educated in such a good country. But instead of a fresh start, it's so far been false starts. This group of more than 300 Afghan refugees packing up yet again. Their fourth hotel move in three months. They, they have done enough in, in terms of Afghanistan, the uncertainty and move and running around. Noor Din heads a community organization helping the newcomers. It's the interruption uh, of uh, major interruption for three, four hundred uh, individuals, which, which is very inefficient. Some of the group was moved to a motel on the other side of Toronto yesterday. This photo shows a pile of dead bugs purportedly on the floor of one of the rooms. Broken faucets in the bathroom, a moldy radiator and concerns about the air quality. Outrage over the conditions forced the resettlement agency, funded primarily by the federal government, to change plans and pick a different hotel. It wasn't acceptable. Why did you not do a more thorough investigation before picking that site then? Certainly, the rooms were ready. but. Clearly not all of them, because then we found these deficiencies in some of the rooms, as the, our, our guests were telling us. In a statement today, the government said that motel did not meet our standards. Mistakes in the process resulted in it being erroneously chosen. Most of the group has now arrived at their next hotel, receiving a warm welcome there tonight, hoping this move will be their last before they find their new permanent homes. Ellen Morrow, CBC News, Toronto.